and welcome everyone. Welcome to today's class. We are going to work with unit eight. Here we go. Okay, so welcome to unit 58, Mysteries. Nivel General 2, Grammar and Conversation class. So here we are, today's quote. Could anybody help me reading, please? Yes. Can. Yes. Mystery creates wonder, and wonder is the basis of man's desire to understand. Excellent. Thank you very much. So tell us, Edgar, yes. what does this mean? What's your opinion about this? Uh, under the basis of... Well, I think it's about the natural desire of the human about knowing and understand everything in life. So uh, we, if we have, if we have the desire of the doubts of anything, we start to investigate or we start to to do things in order to understand the first thing we know we, we see we saw or or something like that i don't know maybe all right thank you very much okay anybody else's opinion uh, me carmen yes please i i think um Wonder and the man man's desire to understand is the is the base the base for the um, scientific method by by what the the man learn uh, uh, this question investiga um, this and make new new comprehension a new study about the science he disco he discovered discovers the science every day in medicine, in astronomy, in engineering. That's it, yes, you're right. And so, as we wonder, you know anything about something, so that's how we investigate. Excellent, thank you very much, Carmen. Anybody else? No? All right, so let's start today's session. Here we go. Okay, so this is class 13 and the topics are, anybody who would like to help reading? Me, um, Jess Gonzalez. Uh, okay, Jesse, Jesse Gonzalez. Sí. Class 13 topics grammar and writing i suppose perhaps it is safe para hacer suposiciones o hablar de probabilidades must have can have plus past participle para hacer deducciones lógicas del pasado listening and speaking describe plans for the future favorite places to go on vacation excellent thank you very much yes those are or topics for today. Let's go to the next. Okay, so this is our icebreaker. Angel, please, could you talk to us about this beautiful creature? What's your idea about this enormous animal? Angel, hello. Hey, yes, that. yes. Well, okay, I I think the 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 big animals was exterminate. The the theory is uh, the crash uh, the, the meteorite to the earth and the effect of the crash. Uh, will or, or that, that uh, all 
big animals a millions of years ago. Thank you very much. Yes, that's one of the theories. Okay, anybody else's opinion? What do you think about the disappearing of these enormous animals? I'm... Yes, please. Okay. Uh, well, I think, um, as we know, about uh, about them because of the paleontologists and the movies <laughs> well uh, i think there were um big creatures amazing creatures very powerful and maybe the the best theory or the most accepted theory about their um Extinction is the meteor, meteor or meteor? meteorite. Meteorite, as the meteorite, the the hits uh, in Yucatan. Mm -hmm, yes. And maybe that's the that's the main reason because that's the main reason that they disappeared. And I think it was for the best because if we if we were with with them in the at the same time maybe we were extinct. <laughs> yes, that's it. They were enormous. Thank you very much. Anybody else's opinion? Me, Carmen. I I think that the the scientist said uh, about the. Uh, the, the weather uh, changing the, the climate, the, the higher temperature, and an, an earthquake. Earthquake maybe could be the reason of the disap disappeared the dinosaurs. All right, thank you very much. Yes, there are some theories about the disappearing of the dinosaurs, but those are just theories because it is very difficult that they can be proven. Uh, and in here, when we are talking about theories, we don't have the certainty. We are not sure about how things happen, what was the reality. But, well, investigations have developed that, the, well, there are some possibilities. Okay, so, Look at this. Uh, let's pay attention, please, to this construction. Here we have, what could have happened? Into Spanish, we should say, ¿Qué podría haber sucedido? ¿Qué podría haber pasado? And here we have another, what might have been the reason or reasons why dinosaurs were extinct? Uh, I would like to press this part. What could have happened? We are going to be using two auxiliars and one verb. Next, what might have been the reason or reasons why dinosaurs were extincted? Okay. So as far as we can see, here we are going to talk about suppositions, possibilities. And we can express them by these forms. A could or might plus present perfect. Okay, so let's go to another image. Okay, <laughs> remember that we have a nice video, a very uh, interesting video that you can check in the platform so that you can have more uh, idea about listening and uh, the use of some structures. Okay. So, Angel, could you help us reading, please? Of course. Activity two, video. What have we just seen? What could have happened? What might have happened? 
I suppose a meteorite could have crashed the earth and caused the ice age. Perhaps there was a change, a change in climate. There maybe have been a natural disaster. Mayan people must have been great astronomers. Mayan people con ha, con, con ha been conquered by the Celtics. They, may, they might have come by boat. The, the thief must have gone out through the window. We must have come in through the door. What could it have happened? They can have disappeared in the ice. They can have killed each other. They must have evolved. They might have been transported on another planet. That's thank all. You. Yeah, thank you very much. Yes, as far as we can see, here we have some other possibilities. There were some uh, theories about the disappearing of the dinosaurs. They say that the dinosaurs might have been transported to another planet by aliens. Uh, I'm not sure, but look at this. In this case, we are using these auxiliars, might, uh, because it is a very weak possibility. But here, they must have evolved. We use most because the possibility has more strength. It is more certainty we have about this possibility. Okay, so have you got the structure? Do you have any doubt about what is it? No. No? Excellent. Let's continue. Let's keep on uh, working with this. Okay, what do you see here? Adverbials of probability. So, uh, Danny, Danny Tejes, why don't you help us reading? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, adverbials of probability. We use adverbials of probability to show how certain we are about something. The most common adverbials of probability are maybe, possibly, perhaps, probably. We are less sure about something. And certainly, definitely, clearly, obviously. We are almost sure that something will happen. Excellent. Thank you very much. We can check this up in the page Learn English British Council org. Uh, so, as far as we can see here, maybe, possibly, perhaps, and probably are for strong, for, for a weak possibility. And when we are almost certain, we can use these others. Certainly, definitely, clearly, obviously. Thank you very much, Danny. All right, so let's move on the next image. Mm, a victim, a victim. Uh, Dante, Dante, could you help us reading, please? Dante, hello. Yes, hello. Hey, yes. Could hello, you help? Do you hear me? Hello. Activity three: grammar, adverbs, and probability. Adverbials of probability. Maybe and perhaps usually come at the beginning of the clause. Perhaps the weather will be fine. Maybe it won't rain. Or in the end, after a comma. Can I get you a drink, perhaps? Other in front of the main verb. Yes, please. 
Okay, so here, here as far as we can see, we have the use of maybe and perhaps. Why don't we do some examples in the chat about this? Here we have perhaps the weather will be fine or maybe it won't rain. Let's write some examples. Let's do, the, let's do some predictions. Mm, I could say perhaps it won't rain tonight. Okay, so this is a strong possibility because we are in summer. Okay, Maria del Carmen wrote, perhaps tomorrow will be sunny. Hey, that's a very good example. Thank you. Okay, anybody else? Okay, excellent. Tomorrow, possibly it will rain. Perhaps the next month I will visit you. Great. Perhaps raining all the night. Yeah. Perhaps it will be raining all the night in Cuautitlan Iscali. Yeah, all night long. Danny, maybe she won't be here until 10. Excellent. Maria del Carmen, he was perhaps he was sick or he was sick perhaps. Uh, perhaps my mom will arrive with dinner. Good. Well, perhaps tomorrow will be better than now. Excellent. Perhaps I will pass the tests. Hey, no, that's not perhaps. That's a certainty. Okay, maybe I'll go to the gym tomorrow morning. Great. Maybe it's going to rain all night. Hey, that's pretty good. Perhaps I will have more vacations. Wow, good. All right, so maybe she will win the football match. Hey, that's excellent. And maybe I will skate on Saturday. Okay, pretty good. Maybe I'll take some vacation. Excellent. There were perhaps many dinosaurs afraid of the T-Rex. Hey, that's a very nice example, Astrid. Thank you. Maybe I will wake up early tomorrow. Hey, that's nice. Pretty good. Okay. So let's go on the next here. Other adverbs or possibility usually come in front of the main verb. Example, he is certainly coming to the party. We definitely be there. Uh, we, we will possibly come to England next year. Excellent. Okay, so Let's use it. Oh, here we have some examples. Um, maybe I will wake up early tomorrow. May I ask for a pizza? Maybe I will ask for a pizza. I'm sorry, my internet is falling. Taking me out over and over again. Perhaps the next time I can read better. Hey Dante, very good. Fernanda, maybe I will go to a party on Friday. Great. Uh, Laura, maybe I will go to the cinema at weekend. Hey, great. Edgar, I'm certainly uh, Edgar, I'm certainly going to bed very late tonight. Oh my. Liz, I'm certainly celebrating national celebrates national celebrations with my family next month. Hey. Oh yes, you know what? It's going to be nice time, big time. Hey, I will certainly pass the test. Excellent. I'm definitely sure I will pass my exam. Wow, very good. I will definitely pass the exam. Hey, that's beautiful. Very good examples. Okay. Here we have, or after the present simple or past simple of B. Example. They are definitely at home. Or she was obviously very surprised. 
Okay, and but these adverbs sometimes come at the beginning of a clause for emphasis. Example given, obviously she was very surprised. Possibly we will come to England next year. Let's see the examples in the chat. Mm -hmm. We are certainly coming back to school next Monday. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. I'm certainly passing the English course. Excellent. I will definitely be working the next week. Wow, pretty good. I'm possibly going to work the next weekend. Hey, that's right. You will be obviously right. Hey, that was wonderful. Very good examples. Okay, so far so good. Do you have any any doubt? No. Excellent. Let's continue. Maggie, I have a question, please. Yes, tell me. Oh, please, can you? Uh, okay. Uh, in the words, with the words, definitely, you can use it at the beginning, at the middle, what the end, is the same? Uh -huh. Yes, yeah, that's it. There are some adverbials that we can use in different positions. In different example, I can say, uh, definitely, I had an excellent uh, vacation. Excellent, yes. Okay. Yes, you can Thank see. You. All right, my answer. Hey, here we have more examples. <laughs> yeah, yes, obvious, right, okay. Dinosaurs are definitely the biggest animals that have lived on Earth. Excellent. Dante, definitely I will never dance reggaeton. Hey, Dante, I go by that. I agree with you. Brenda, obviously we will study uh, for the exams. We will study for the exams. Great. Tania, perhaps I will I will pass my exam. Hey, no, it's not perhaps. Certainly, you will pass your exam. Hey, those are very good examples. Thank you. Okay. Activity five, grammar, models. So um, uh, let's check who, uh, Marisol. Marisol, could you help us reading, please? Marisol, hello. She may be having some problems with her microphone. Uh, what about Monica? Yes, I'm here. Yes, please. Could you help us, Ruby? Yes. Modal seduction present. We use modal verbs to say how sure we are about something. One, most. We use most when we feel sure that something is true because there's very strong evidence. He must live near here because he comes to work on foot. We don't know where he lives, but we're sure he's... I think Maggie's gone. Yes. I can't see anything. <laughs> <laughs> no. okay. Okay. Uh, can you hear me? Back. She's back. Oh, just yes. <laughs> what? Uh, guess what? I have a problem with the connection. Why? Why? <laughs> oh my, you know what? Here I have a problem. Now the host is Moni. So Moni, uh, could you please let me share the uh, the screen? How? <laughs> oh my! Okay, let me uh, uh, now. I don't. I, I don't know how it works because I am not the host. Um. I think she she has to click um on the on the bar bottom bar. Mm -hmm. share share. Yes, that. Yeah. I think. Yeah, Moni, Moni, could you help me? Uh, checking 
about your screen and all your options so that you can name me the... Oh, no. I think that we are seeing money screen. Yes. Okay. I think here, it's not that one. Here it is mine. But uh, now I am not the host and the recording. You know what? The recording is in... Now. Okay. Yeah. Could you record oh, We it? can see it. We can see the screen. We can yeah. see the screen. And it's recording. Yes. Okay, so I don't have the, um, the instruction for the recording. So maybe, Moni, could you check if you have the option to name me the host of the, of the class? Uh, In where you can see participants yes here ah uh, here it is i think i Three. think you are the host you are the host maggie yes, yes i am yes. yes here it is oh my thanks god <laughs> i didn't know what to do <laughs> okay so let's continue i'm sorry i'm so sorry it, it I is love my inspiration <laughs> <laughs> I will start again. Yeah. <laughs> Mother <that>? seduction. <laughs> yeah, that's it. You okay. Know, what happens was that here it is raining cats and dogs. So the the signal, the internet signal is not very good. So now I was the one who was out. <laughs> I'm sorry. Continue. Okay. We'll try to get there early but we may arrive late if there's a lot of traffic don't put it up there it could fall off and hit someone it's all thank you very much yes so have the models for deduction in the present so most is for strong possibility may might and could are just for weak possibility something that we consider that could happen but we are not sure okay so why don't we do some examples uh, yes yeah, so um guess what let's continue talking about the dinosaurs you know what um once upon a time my little bitty boy my son my beautiful son Ask me, mommy, when you were a little baby, did you have a pet? And I said, oh, yes, of course, baby, I had a pet. And so he told me, what was it, mommy? Was it a, 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 a Tyrannosaurus or a Pterodactylus? <laughs> um, <laughs> and I said, no, baby, uh, it was a dog. <laughs> and later on, he asked me, mommy, when you were a child, everything might, might have been seen black and white, was it? And I said, uh, no, baby, everything was in color. So <laughs> <laughs> he said, because you are very old, mommy. Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you know what? I think I consider that... Uh, dinosaurs might have been enormous. Well, no, might, most. I think that here is a mistake. It's most. Why? Well, because we have some discoveries that shows that dinosaurs were enormous. So that's why I use most. Okay, so I think that any of them might have been very fierce. Yes, okay. Okay, very good. So Liz wrote. He must have believed that the dinosaurs still alive. Uh -huh. He must have believed 
in past that the dinosaurs are still alive. Hey, good. Anybody else? Let's do some uh, deductions about um, the past. Okay, pretty good. Here it is. I think dinosaurs must have been extremely strong animals to survive for so many years. Jesse, pretty good. Jessica. All right, thank you. Jessica, dinosaurs must have been really heavy. Hey, pretty good deduction. Laura, they must have eaten a lot of food. Excellent. Very good. Maria del Carmen, the dinosaurs must have eaten a lot of food. Aha, uh -huh, we have already uh, read that. It's a similar to Laura's. Okay, Cindy, I believe the dinosaur age must have been interesting. Hey, that's beautiful. Edgar, I think some dinosaurs might have evolved. Excellent. Yesenia, the dinosaurs may not have done the sound that we believe. Okay, yes, I agree with you. Uh, we are not going to use it at the end. Okay, Astrid, there were huge dinosaurs, but there must have been very small ones as well. Hey, yes, that's it, Astrid, pretty good. Joel, I think dinosaurs could have been a good pet. Oh my. <laughs> Then the, in the north of Mexico, in Coahuila, the dinosaurs must have found a good place for living a long time ago. Hey, that's nice. And I, the dinosaurs must have been dangerous. Yes, pretty good. Danny, dinosaurs must have been pretty dangerous. Excellent. Abby, I consider that not all dinosaurs were fear. Okay. Abby, you know what? We can use uh, the models for deductions. You could say um, not all the dinosaurs might have been fierce. Lupita, the dinosaurs must have eaten out of having a lot of animal. Uh -huh. Monica, in my opinion, the dinosaurs must have heard very well. Yay, hey, that's it. That is bad. Dinosaurs must have been and must have been incredible creatures. Edgar, I think most of dinosaurs must have been pretty scary. Uh -huh. Marisol, he must have believed that dinosaurs did not live a lifetime. Mm -hmm, very good. Probably dinosaurs might have eaten a lot of vegetation because most of them were green. Hey, that was very sensible. Jess Gonzalez, the dinosaurs must have been wonderful animals, some dangerous. Aha, uh -huh, that's it. Brenda, the dinosaurs must have, uh, uh, the dinosaurs may eat us if they are, if they were still alive. In Maria del Carmen, some dinosaurs must have been lived uh, in our city in Milpalta. The paleontologist found some bones. Hey, that's beautiful. Thank you very much. Okay, so let's go to the next. Okay, Tania, dinosaurs must have been gigantic. Hey, wonderful. Okay, so here we are, the next models for deduction in present. Here we have Kent, that's another model. Uh, please, Anai, could you help us reading? Um, yes, 
Modal seduction present. And three, can't. We use can't when we feel sure something is not true. I can be far away now. We've been driving for hours. Where's the map? Remember that all of these modal verbs, must, might, may, could, and can, have other uses. Yes, that's it. But in this case, thank you very much. In this case, we are using them as models of deduction. All right, so you know what? It is raining pretty much today. Mm, I think that it must, we must be in summer. Uh, why don't we do some deductions in the present? Let's talk about now about the weather, all right? Okay, so here we have some more examples. Um, Maria Carolina wrote, dinosaurs must have seen how our planet was created, uh, how our planet created species that existed on the planet. Um, um, no, I think dinosaurs must have seen how our planet was created, comma. Species existed on the planet, it could be a long time ago. Um, I think that here we need a little more of coherence. Liz, the scientists think that the dinosaurs could have had feeders because they are similar to the birds. Hey, that's great. Okay, Jesse, this raining must be a result of the global warming. Hey, Jesse, brilliant deduction. Pretty good. Joel, beautiful, Joel, thank you very much. Okay, Tanya, it can't be sunny today. It was raining all day. Wow, very good, Jesse. It can rain all night, so we have to close the window. Wonderful, pretty good. Hey, Betsaida, don't worry, Betsaida, it's okay. The most important is that you are here. Okay, wow, pretty good. You know what? I think that we can continue. Take an umbrella if you go out, it might rain harder. Wow, pretty good, Maria del Carmen, excellent. All right, modal deductions in the past. In any volunteer who could help us reading? Um, hey, Tania. Tania, please, thank you. Modal deduction, past, in the same way that we use modal verbs to say how certain we are about things in the present, we can also use them to speculate about the past. Have, past, plus past participle, have done, have been, have stolen, etc. is called the present perfect, not to confuse with the perfect infinitive, to have, plus past participle. She claims to have met a number of, of famous people. We hope to have finished the course by next week. To have won the race would have been fantastic. We usually use the perfect infinitive to express unreal past conditions, things that might have happened or to express that something will be complete at some point in the future. Depending on the source that you consult, you may find that they consider the forms a half plus past participle and to have plus past participle as the same. When we use modal verbs to talk about the present, they are followed by an infinitive without to. When we use modal verbs to talk about the past, they are followed by the present perfect, half plus past participle. Excellent. Thank you very much. Mm, you know what? 
that's what we have been doing about dinosaurs. Um, I would like you to tell me if you have any any question or any commentary. Ah, Yesenia, that's it. I can't see the stars today because it's raining. Hey, that's great, Astrid. It might be cold all night. Wow, pretty good. Hey, Brenda, we can't go out because it's raining just now. Wow, very good. Dante, it's raining cats and dogs. You must drive carefully. Carefully. Yes, that's it. Oh, my. Very good examples. Thank you very much. Now, let's go to the next image. Perfect models. Um, let's see, who's my victim? Uh -huh. Cindy, Cindy, could you help us reading, please? Cindy, hello, don't go. Ah, uh, you know what? She may be having problems with her microphone. Now she's not online. Okay. Can I read it, Maggie, please? Oh, yes, please. Okay, activity five, grammar perfect models. Must have close past participle. We use must have plus past participle when we feel sure about something in the past. We must have been delighted when you heard you'd won the lottery. The tips must have come in through the window. Look, it's, uh, it's still open. Oh no, where's my car? Someone must have stolen it. It might, may, is correct or how is pronounced? Yeah, that's it. Might and may. Okay. Might, may, could have plus participle. We use might have, may have, or could have with the past participle to say that we think something was possible, but we aren't sure. The tips might have escaped by car, but we can't be sure. Uh, he should be here by now. He might have been delayed by a traffic jam or something. I can find my purse. I could have left in the supermarket, but I just don't know. We don't use can have plus past participle to express past possibilities. Excellent. Thank you very much. Why? Why don't we use can have when we talk about past possibilities? Because the Pass of the can is could. Yes. And that's it. Can is present. So we can talk about pres past in present. That's it. Very good. Thank you. Okay. So do you have any question? So far, so good. No. Oh, do you consider that we need to do more examples about this topic? No? No. All right, let's keep on working with the next. Okay, let me read a commentary. Okay, Jesse, pretty good. I might have nervous before the exam next week. No, don't be nervous. Everything is okay. Everything is in good order. Okay, so anybody to read Activity 5 Grammar Perfect Models? Yes, me. Yes, please. Activity five, grammar, perfect models. Can have clause past participle. We use can have clause past participle when we feel sure something didn't happen in the past. Past certainty, past impossibility. I thought I saw John in town this morning, but I can have, but it can have been him. He's in Greece this week. I can have left it in the supermarket. I had it on the bus on the way home. Couldn't have close past participle. It is also used to express past certainty or impossibility of a past event. If something can have been true, it's, it also couldn't have been true. 
either way, we are saying that it was nearly impossible. Couldn't have is more common in spoken English, but couldn't have plus past participle can also be used to express, number one, a hypothetical event. I couldn't have succeeded if she hadn't offered any help. I couldn't have succeeded without her help. And two, one's inability in the past. Sandra was talented enough to pass the test. I know I couldn't have made it. Excellent. Thank you very much. Mm, you know what? This is a little, a little more complicated, but it's good. So let's do some examples. Okay, let's use it. Uh, you know what? I have been observing how you write, and I think that you are doing pretty well. You just have some little doubts, but we can work about it so that you uh, don't have a lot of mistakes. You don't, uh, in fact, but let's practice a little more. Okay, here Betsaida wrote, I can't have bought it today because the stores were closed. Uh -huh. It's okay. Mm, I think that here we could have said, I couldn't vote it today uh, because the stores are closed. We are going to use it as a possibility, as um, a deduction. You could say, my mother couldn't or can't have bought it today because the stores are closed. Uh, remember that this, uh, this is for deductions. Okay, my pleasure. Deductions, you use couldn't, and in what case you use can't? Uh, can't whenever we are sure that something is impossible. So uh, here I am writing an example for you. And I wrote, my clothes are all wet. Uh, my daughter can't have picked it up. Okay, so it is impossible that she had put it into the house because they are all wet. That's my deduction. Okay, well, my writing is general, in general is very bad. Could you recommend me some website to improve it? Oh yes, of course, Joel. You know what, I am going to send you all, please remind me, today I am going to send you all uh, the listening pages, some other pages for practicing writing, and there's also um, an application that you could use as a complement in Google, and it is Grammarly. Grammarly is a grammar corrector, and it's so nice. I am going to send it uh, for you all. I use it, and when I am writing and I commit a mistake, it marks uh, a red underline and it shows me that I have a mistake that I should correct. And it also helps me to uh, give me some suggestions about the words that I could use or uh, something like that. Okay, so I can't, here it is. Cindy, she's on feet. So she could have done so much exercise. Hey, Cindy, pretty well. Fernanda, I couldn't have been in class yesterday because I couldn't arrive early at home. Okay. Um, but you know what, Fernanda? This is for deductions. You could say, Maggie couldn't have been in class yesterday because I saw her in the mall. All right. Marisol, 
I can't leave during work hours. Uh -huh. We continue with the same. Remember that this is for deductions. So you could say, um, my sister can't have left during the work hours because she's very responsible. Jessie, she can't have forgot uh, going for her children. She's very responsible. Excellent. Moni, I can't be bored in the party because the music was great. Excellent, Moni, because the music was great. Excellent. I can't have arrived because it was raining cats and dogs. Uh -huh. That's it. But here, um, I consider least that you could have used another subject. She can't have arrived because it was raining cats and dogs. Okay. Because here you are doing a supposition, a deduction about yourself. So that's not very logical. Abby, I can't go to sleep before. <laughs> it's okay. Abby, I can't go to sleep before finishing English class. All right, but this is not a deduction. And perfect. Okay, Joel, thank you. I can't have finished the project without help. Okay, very good. Now we can use it also for deductions. Uh, he can't have been in the class. He's in a school trip. Excellent. That's a deduction. I can't have been bored in the party because the music was great. Uh -huh. But you know what, Moni? It's I can't negative because the music was great. All right. So I saw the lights of my neighbor's house. They can't have been... Uh, there because they are in vacation. It must be a burglar. Hey, excellent. Very good, Jesse. Just they can't have been there. And Laura, she can't have called me in the morning because she was in her job. Excellent. Pretty good. And uh, Lupita, can't have come home because it's raining hard. Excellent. But guess, Lupita, guess what? We need a subject. He can't have come home. She can't, etc. All right. Astrid, they couldn't have arrived on time as the highways were closed due to the heavy rain. Excellent. Pretty good. I couldn't have eaten healthy because I was on vacation. All right, Jess. This was not a deduction, but it's all right. My son can't have broken the glass. He's always careful. Wow, very good. <laughs> Excellent. Arisbet, I couldn't have arrived at the airport because, etc. Any deduction? Jesse, I can't have a trigger like a pet. A ti tiger, not trigger. A tiger like a pet because they are very dangerous, but I might have a little bird. Hey, that's it. You know what? <clears throat> we are not going to use might can. Uh, I consider that the correct one is might. Okay. Um, where is it? Aha. Uh -huh. Edgar, he can't have broken the window because he was sleeping at that moment. Excellent. He can have left the classroom. He loves this class. Excellent. Pretty good. Betsaida, she couldn't have taken a picture. She doesn't have a camera. Wow. Very good. Danny, she couldn't have been invited. Lucy is not her friend. Hey, those are very good deductions. All right. Let's go to the next part. Practice. Hey, finally. Okay, here we have the first. So, could you help me sign in with anotar on the screen so that we can see which is correct?
Okay. Hey, which sentence is not a correct sentence? Okay, excellent. Yes, she wrote, she couldn't have met her future boyfriend if she hadn't gone to the party. Aha, uh -huh, that's it, Brenda. I couldn't have worked if I woke up late. Aha, uh -huh, pretty good. Liz, she can't have studied because she didn't get good scores. Wow, good. Laura, he can't have had another couple. He's definitely in love, in love with his wife. Wow, pretty good. Hey, you are doing pretty well. Those are very good, very good results. All right, now let's check. Number one, which sentence is not a correct sentence? And the answer is this one. Excellent, pretty good. Number two, which sentence is not grammatically correct? Hey, pretty good. Joseph must have forgotten about the party. Uh, number four, which word can go in the space? We may not have bought enough biscuits for anyone, for everyone. Hey, wow, pretty good. That's correct. You were right. Number five, which sentence means maybe John went to the shop? John may have gone to the shop. Let's check. Wow, hey. Those were very good answers. Pretty good, kids. Okay, so here we have another. Now we are going to uh, underline or mark in any way. You know what? We have the tool anotar and we have dibujar. With dibujar, you can use a shadow for for a marking, excellent, that's it. Wow, excellent. Hey, you're great. <laughs> That's nice. All right, pretty good.
Maggie, I can hear you. I'm sorry. You know what? It was my microphone. I was telling you that the answers were correct. So here we have, in this case, the answer was exactly this one. Right? Here we have that the answer was this one. Okay. You were right. There was just any hesitation about two of them. But it, you're great. Pretty good. Now let's go to the next part. <clears throat> Another practice. Let's do the same, all right? Okay, excellent. All right, pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. You are doing pretty well. Wow, great. Okay, now let's see the answers. Okay, pretty good. Hey, you know what? You were right. That's why we can't see the answers. Let me erase what you did. Okay, so that we know, so that we can see where the correct answers are. Excellent. That's it. So in the second one, here we have. Excellent. Here you are the answer. You know what? You're great. You answered correctly all of the exercises. Uh -huh. Okay, so here we go. Uh, we need the last two. Let me show it to you. Okay, excellent. And the final, excellent. Hey, you got it. You did it pretty well. You answered correctly to all of the exercises. Pretty good claps for you. Now let's go to the next practice. Make our own speculations about the following situations using models plus half plus past participle. A man arrives at work an hour late. Mm, a deduction could be he can have got up early or any other deduction. Let's write them on the chat, please. Maggie, I can hear you. 
I'm sorry. Thank you very much. I was checking your examples. <laughs> I forgot to turn the microphone on. I can't have, uh, okay, he might have forgotten the day. Excellent. Jesse, he might have been on traffic. Okay, he must have forgotten to set the alarm. Excellent, Laura, he couldn't have found a taxi. Excellent, he must have lost the bus. Excellent, Astrid. He might have been sick, eh, good. Might have fixed his car. Great, he might have thought it was Sunday. Excellent, he must have been on traffic jam. Excellent, he must have lost the bus. Uh, he must have had diarrhea. <laughs> yes, he might have been sick. He must have had a serious problem. Uh, he might have one. He might have waken up late. Yes, he might have been in an accident. Oh my! Uh -huh. So he might have been dreaming with the angels. <laughs> That's it. And uh, he must have been stuck in traffic. Excellent. He must have had an accident. Wow, wonderful, so creative. All right, now let's talk about the third one. A woman is uncomfortable and walking slowly. She might have hurt her leg. Okay, um, she might have been tired, very good. She must have worn, worn a high heels, a pair of high heels for the first time. Excellent. She must have had a serious health problem. Could be she could have fallen as she's a dancer. Wow, yes, pretty good. She must have had a headache. Yes, she might have caught herself. Oh my. Okay, she may have had a bone in. Hey, that's it. Yes, pretty good. She might have been faking an injury. <laughs> Do you think so? Uh, she might have had a, a sleepy leg. A sleepy leg. Oh, good. <laughs> you are so creative. Okay, what about the third one? She could have suffered the theft. Oh, my. They could have been very, very hungry. She must have had corns on the foot. She might have had a baby. Oh, yes. She might have got injured. Excellent. She could have had a heart attack. Oh, my. All right. Let's go to the next. One family gets into the restaurant looking very excited. They could have won the lottery, maybe. Yes. They must have been celebrating something. Okay, she may, she might uh, have been very sad because she lost her boyfriend. Oh, Cindy, they might have had a celebration. They must have been chosen for extreme makeover edition. Okay, very good. <clears throat> they might have been celebrating. They could have had a new member of the family. Wow, hey, yes, that's it. Okay, so she might have had an accident. Hey, that's very good. They must have been celebrating a good news. Excellent. She must have broken her ankle. Oh my, they must have gotten a heritage. Um, um, I. They must have seen a great show, okay? They might have heard a great news. They might have bought a new car, excellent.
He might have won a car. Hey, that's great. Okay, pretty good. Beautiful, you are so creative. That's nice. Um, you know what? I think that it is very important that I remind you that uh, there is a listening part. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to share the, the um, activity with you because of, I don't know if it is my computer or the internet uh, use, uh, uh, the internet that I am using at home because I don't know why, but it is not very clear. So uh, do you remember that I sent you by mail uh, a link for a listening part? We are going to be using that link. It is the same, but it is divided in seven parts. So please uh, work with it because it is very important. And uh, now let's go to the next part. Ta-da! Let's do uh, another speaking practice. We are going to work in pairs and we are going to select who is going to work with this activity. And the others, please pay attention to your classmates. Yesterday, um, Astrid was helping us, and it was also, um, I guess it was Dante or Edgar, I don't remember. I guess it was Edgar. And today, please, do uh, Fernanda and Gina, could you help uh, us working now? Fernanda, hello. Yes, could you? Okay, and Gina? Are you there? Hello, yes, I, I'm here. Excellent. But I don't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's okay, don't worry. You know what? It, this exercise is going to be very useful for you all because it is very similar on, on the way uh, that we do the uh, interview, the speaking part of the exam. Okay, so look at this, Fernanda and Gina. You are going to imagine the following situation. You've decided to go together on vacation in three months. Which of the following destinations would be a great choice? Why? Talk about it and decide together. Here it is very important that you both participate and that you use question formation. Don't forget to, to do questions, one to each other, so that you can take agreements, okay? Okay. All right, go ahead. Um, hello, Fernanda. I think that Fernanda is in it. Mm, I think that she's having problems with her <laughs> microphone. Guess what? Mm -hmm. Since some classes ago, yes, she has had problems. Fair, we are going to um, ask another person to, to participate. Is it okay? Because we can't listen to you. So what about Dante? Dante, could you help us? Hello, can you hear me? Yes, we do. Yes. Hello. Hello. Okay. Hello, Gina. Hello, Dante. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. I decide to wear a go on vacations. <laughs> and I think that the most interesting place is Oaxaca. I don't know. What about what? What do you think? It's okay. I would like Yucatan, but Oaxaca—it's it's right. I've been there about 
20 years ago, but it's good. It's a good place. Okay, I've never go to Oaxaca, and maybe it's interesting to to know this place. Yes, uh, I have visited uh, Mitla, oh. uh, Santo Domingo, Yagul, Etla, and the historic center of Oaxaca. Okay, and um, I don't know, do you think we need too much money? No, I guess not. Uh, there are very cheap things. Uh, it's a very good food, economic, in the market marketplace. There are a few places to eat. Typical, typical food. Okay. No, good point. <laughs> it's it's cheap. Mm. And. I don't know. We we are decide to go Oaxaca. <laughs> yes, there are beach too. Oh, far but we can get. Mm. Do you think that many place uh, to stay three months? No say I don't know, and maybe it's too much time no yes, I guess it is mm, well, but let's go to Oaxaca okay <laughs> all right, thank you very much, hey, excellent. You know what? Um, I would like to give you a piece of advice. This is not for only for Dante and for Gina. This is for everyone. Sometimes we are uncertain, we are nervous because we think that we don't know, we don't have as much information as we would like to have about the topic. But remember that the English exams are not for a, how much you know about a topic. It's to check how well you can communicate and how much uh, you use the structures that you have checked uh, previously at class. So if you don't know very much about the topic, don't worry. It is not the point. You are not going to be checked about culture history or any special subject just communication in english second don't forget to be careful not to speak spanish anytime because you can be penalized in the evaluation so never speak spanish uh, next, uh, try to be very fluent as much as possible because it's a penalization when you stay thinking or when you say uh, uh, that poses that you can use those poses can mean any points less a penalization to you so you can use some interjections you can say, for example, well, um, I think, uh, do, you, do you know what I mean? You can use those expressions, but never be in silence for more than three or four seconds. Okay. Thank you very much, uh, Gina and Dante. Please, let's ask two, two more people to help with this one. So please, Betsaida and Lupita, could you help us? Of course. Okay. 
Betsaida, Lupita, don't go. You know what, Betsaida? I guess that Lupita is having problems because uh, she, I guess that she can't listen to us. So um, what about Mon Monica? Ah, Monica had problems also. Um, Maria Guadalupe, please, could you? I don't have problems. <laughs> uh, okay, please, please, could you help us? Um, yes. Yes. Okay, look at this. Imagine the following situation. You decided to go to other vacation in the months. So the following destinations would be a great choice and what? Talk about it and decide together. Who is my partner? Uh, it's Betsaida and Monica. Okay, okay. Okay, hi Betsaida, how are you? Hi Monica, I'm fine. And you? I'm well, thanks. Okay, well, um, I have money, maybe we need to take vacations because it's summer. Yeah, we, what we need it. Would you like to visit? <laughs> I think it's very uh, attractive to go to Tuscany, Italy. I always, I, I want to go to, to there. What do okay. you think? Yes, I have the same opinion. <laughs> it's great. We can uh, eat very, very tasty food. Yes, of course, pizzas, pasta, etc., wine. Oh yeah, wine. <laughs> do you speak Italian? No. Okay. I can um, learn uh, about the culture and maybe um, meet a uh, Italian that speaks Spanish or English. Okay. Mm. Um, if if doesn't want to go to Tuscany, uh, maybe we can go to Yosemite National Park. It's a great um, landscape and I think it's good to be in, in touch with the nature it's other uh, option I don't know I don't like <laughs> the United States I prefer Italy <laughs> yeah, it's, it's more um, and nowadays and nowadays, the United States is very dangerous for Mexican people. Yeah. <laughs> I'm afraid. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, Tuscany, Italy, it's a better option. Yes. Well, maybe we can look for more information about the, the prices of the airplanes or some interesting yeah. uh, okay. or famous places to visit in Tuscany, Italy. Yeah, and find a hostel uh, in a good prices yes. because I think is the it it will be a, a a place that has very expensive or something. Yes, and if we have more time, maybe we can uh, visit different places. Remember that we have a uh, Spain. Um, Portugal, France, near of this country. Yeah. Well, uh, we need to find more information and maybe to make a a list of the places and how we can go uh, to translate to other countries, to other places in that in that country and. The clothes. What what do you want to to take? Yeah. Yes, I'm so excited for these vacations, and I'm thinking about what kind of clothes I have to use. Um, yeah. I have Maybe. to save money. Yeah, we need to save more money. I think. <laughs> Maybe. For three months, we need to spend, we need to save money and spend less. 
yes, we might have uh, um, come back with a bo Italian boyfriend, maybe. <laughs> hey, yes. That was a great idea. <laughs> yes, it's a fabulous idea. <laughs> a handsome boy. Be okay. careful. It's a, it's a city of love. Uh, let's go. Let's go there. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. You know what? Um, I'm yesterday. I was talking to to the group about this, and I told them. I tell uh, you all that you will be very successful in your uh, speaking examination when you enjoy it. That was very good. Jo don't be nervous. Just remember that it is a talk among friends. It is something of the nicest part for me because of course you are nervous because you know that it is an exam. But if you forget just for a little while that this is an exam, you're gonna feel more comfortable like today. Today, I think it, it was a great session because you could speak fluently. That was pretty good. Remember that fluency is one of the most important parts in the examination. The other part is to be very careful also about the use of grammar. But in a speaking exam, the most important part is fluency and confidence and obviously communication so just be aware of those two points i think that you all are going to be very successful tomorrow we are going to continue practicing uh, with this kind of exercises so that you can be very confident the exam can be very familiar to you that's the objective so that you can feel comfortable Okay, I don't know if you have any other question. No. No, Maggie. Thank you. No, Maggie. Here they say, if you travel to USA, you can be cute. <laughs> oh, my. All right. Well, thank you very much for your attendance, for your participation. That was so brilliant. I really it was delighted about it. Thank you very much and have a very good night, everyone. Thank you, Maggie. Thank you. Have a good night. Good night, everyone. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Have a Bye. very good night. Bye night. Thank you very much. Bye. Thank you. Good, good, night. Night. good night, everybody. Have a good night. Bye. Likewise. Thank you.